Hi, I'm Craig Jonathan with IPEX Electrofusion, and I'm going to introduce you to our 10 through 16 inch rerounding tool. Invariably in the field, you encounter a pipe that has no validity to it. You need to get that back to round in order to have a successful fusion, and this is a great tool to do that. I've used tools in the field myself that were much, much more cumbersome, they were heavy, they were difficult to take apart and put back together. This tool is none of those things. If you look over here, you've got an Acme thread. It's a high torque thread, non-binding, and it's designed to be used over and over again. These detents keep this in place, even under high torque. This receiving trough allows a swing arm to swing in and out quickly, making assembly and disassembly super easy. Down here, the eyelet that holds that swing arm on has been welded in place in order to keep this lined up with that trough above, again, making assembly and disassembly very easy. This is a great tool, and now we're going to show you how to put it on and take it off. The blowing this tool is really a one-person job, but for the sake of demonstration, Scott's going to help me out. Scott DeRoger is also with IPEX Electrofusion. When you're checking for ovality, you're going to check it on several different axes. X and Y, and perhaps in different directions. I've marked top and bottom here, which would indicate we want to squeeze this in this direction. We're going to take our two pieces. Now it's deployed, included with the tool is a ratchet and extra long depth socket to tighten this down as much as you need to. Here's one of the big differences between other tools. You can take this off after the fusion's made without having a major disassembly. You're literally just sliding it out of that trough and getting it out of the trench. And it's just that easy. Keep in mind when rerounding a pipe to do it slowly. The pipe is going to continue to change after you tighten this down even more. So it's important to tighten it down, let it cold flow, check it again, and tighten it down as much as you need to to get it back into round. 